Nate Frazier out on the left coast joining RBU. What I love about Nate Frazier and what I don't see as much as I used to in high school backs is that he's a one-cut guy. He finds the hole and he bursts through. I think that you see a lot of high school backs that want to create in the backfield. and They miss two or three tackles in the backfield and they gain four yards. They're not going. They're they're not the guys that are piercing that hole, hitting top speed, and accelerating for those big gains anymore. It's showy to miss tackles and shake dudes off, but if you can do that, do what Nate Frazier does effectively, I think that over the long term, that's what people are looking for. I think that's what Del McGee's looking for, most certainly. Yeah, you got to be tough to play for Dale, and that's the first thing. You know, I think. He must have just a, a picture in his office. If you don't look like this from the waist down, you just can't play at Georgia. I mean, those guys are tree trunks. And uh, you even look at Dwight Phillips, who's not, he's 180 pounds, and he's rocked up. You know what I mean? So um, this is a hell of a class, man. And, and listen, we're going to – we don't have to beat a dead horse with Justice Haynes. That was a that was a miss. That was yeah. a big miss yep. for Georgia. Fool me. But, but what do you have to do? You have to have – you had to go back in. Not only you had to get – Two guys, you wind up with three, and you get guys that bring different packages uh, to the game. Chauncey Bowens is probably 210 pounds. You see him in person, um, and then you look at Nate, and then you look at Dwight. So uh, all these guys bring something a little bit different, but Georgia, you want to talk about restocking and, and filling that cabinet back up. Uh, this class of 2024 have done that. Del McGee, uh, he put a stamp on. He put his stamp on this class tonight today. Comparison. I, comparisons is what I'm interested in, too. Uh, you know, yeah. when you think about these guys, <clears throat> my take is I think Dwight is your James Cook-esque guy. Uh, you can use him in a number of different ways. Um, J- Jake Rowe and I talked about that a lot. I think Bowens kind of becomes the collegiate Zamir White, not maybe the high school Zamir White. Um, but that's not a bad thing either. Zamir White was a hell of a back in at Georgia. Uh, Strong, fast, yeah. powerful. And then uh, I think you get Nate Frazier. And I really like that comparison that uh, On3 has for him of DeAndre Swift. Uh, you know, yep. guy, That's what he uh, looks like to me. Yeah, he plays in that way. And, and uh, Jake also mentioned Josh Jacobs for him as well. William Gleaton says kind of looks like Garrison Hurst. He does run like Garrison Hurst a little bit on that one cut. And, and that's a great one. I was sitting here trying to think, who does he look like? That's a great one, William, because that, that was Garrison's you know, signature kind of move right there. Uh, man, that's a great comparison there. Garrison Hurst, man, that's not a bad one to be named after. <laughs> not sure. Be compared to. Uh, so that's a great comparison there. Good job. Here's what I like about Frazier's huddle tape. This guy has an entire uh, addendum to his huddle highlight reel of touchdown runs of just him picking up blocks and pass protection. That is yeah. not safe for work material if you are watching this and you are a running back sicko because that, uh, that is pretty impressive right there. Here's what I want to ask you guys. Just kind of conceptually here, uh, Georgia Rusty you mentioned the uh, putting the ingredients back in the cupboard. There, we had Matt Godwin on a couple nights ago, and and he alluded to how Kirby follows the Bill Parcells model of building a roster, and Parcells is all about picking out the best groceries. So when you look at what you build an offense around, uh, the past couple of years you've been able to build it around Brock Bowers and freaking people out, wondering where he's going to be. With this much talent in the backfield, dare I say that RBU could be making a comeback here shortly? Well, yes. I mean, I, I think when you look at what Stacey Searles did, so what did he do in this class? And, and you talking about large humans and Bill Parcells. I mean, it doesn't get any more than what Georgia just brought in with nine year Dan. I saw Daniel Calhoun play the other night, and I, I was thinking, you know, this guy's six five and a quarter, 350, and he's not. There's two other guys in the room who can be bigger than him. So when you start looking at all that and you throw in Monroe Freeland from last year, Bo Hewley from last year, all those guys. So when you look at what George has done, particularly in the last, say, 14 months offensively, um, you know, RBU and that offensive line, the physicality, because let's let's, let's face it, man, um, you got one season left of Brock Bowers, and there's some great football players. There's some great talent in that tight end room. But Brock Bowers, there's not another Brock Bowers. There's not one in college football. So you got to have to find other ways to create and some other guys can get some more touches. So I think that Georgia running back class for Del McGee had a lot, a lot easier sale to say, Hey, look, look at these six or seven skyscrapers are going to be in front of you. Is that, that what you want to build your legacy around in college? Come on. And uh, those guys jumped in the boat. Frazier, uh, Frazier mentioned a little something that uh, almost suggested that if, uh, if those guys got touched, 
uh, behind that uh, that offensive line, it was their fault. So, <laughs> and I, I, I was, <laughs> he said, look at the, I mean, these dudes in front of us are incredible. He said, if we get touched, that's our fault. That's on us at this point. Cause those dudes are the biggest that they got. I still think, I still think today's world is, is, is fast paced throwing the ball around, but you got to be able to be physical when you need to be physical and, and be able to move people and run the ball. And, um, you know, I'm not sitting here, George not going back the eye formation and, <laughs> And Bobo's not going to bring back a big fullback with a neck roll as bad as I want him to. Uh, Don't you know, you're that, Rusty. Steve. We're going to lose viewers. You, you got a little <laughs> eligibility left, Rusty, too. I think, man. <laughs> I, I'd be I'd be hell for two plays. I'm telling you. That's <laughs> that. you know, tap, tap the helmet like I'm, I'm coming to the sideline. Um, so, but that would that I think George is going to continue to be fast paced. They're going to throw the ball around, but uh, there's time for you got to be able to physical. You got to be able to move people. Got to be able to run the ball, especially. You know, as you get down in that red zone, you got to have that physicality and uh, you got to be versatile. 